everyone. Thank you. But Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho. We should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. The guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Pepper. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. George, you wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. <coughs> now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's okay, Pepper. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done, 
team. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> you did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. Like you're right, Pepper. Yeah! <laughs> oh my! It was lucky I was wearing my raincoat, wasn't it? Ho oh, ho! I have an idea. Come on, Pepper. I need your help getting things from the car. What are we doing, Daddy? Well, Pepper. That's a great idea, Daddy! <laughs> oh dear, I think the rain is getting heavier. The animals won't be happy. Don't worry, little animals. You will all be dry in no time. Oh, that's better, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Guinea Pig? And how about you, little chicks? It looks like all that jumping in puddles made George and the chickens very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so who enjoyed the petting farm then? I did, I did. Even though it was a bit wet. Oh, yes. Detective Pepper and Detective George searched the kitchen for the lost keys. Were the keys under the table, George? No, maybe they're in the fruit bowl. Oops. <laughs> Oh dear, I can't see the keys anywhere. Hmm, maybe we could pretend it's the morning again and see where you went. That's a great idea, Peppa. Now let me think. First, I sat at the table and ate my breakfast. After that, I went over to the sink and did the washing up. Maybe Mummy found them in the luggage. We should go and check. Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Did you? No, not yet. But I think we're getting close with Detective Pepper and Detective George's help. We checked every room in the house, but we couldn't find Daddy's keys anywhere. Suddenly, Detective Pepper notices something shiny poking out of one of Daddy Pig's pockets. Daddy, what's that in your pocket? My keys! They were in my pocket the whole time! Well done, detectives! We would never have found them without your help! Hooray! Does this mean we can go on our summer holiday adventure for real this time? Absolutely! Let's go! Ho ho! George, would you like to serve our next customer? George? Yeah! <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> oh! Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey! I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness! What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Pepper. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. It's going to get 
get as tall as the Ferris wheel. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Phew. I can't believe it. A twenty scoop ice cream. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream, ice cream! Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. Oh. Oh. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow! This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake! That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes. All that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, Oh, That's right! One for you, one for Pepper, one for me and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious! Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious! Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> oh, dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> 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 hmm. I can't see a balloon anywhere. Balloon!
George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. <laughs> this smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry, I have just the thing to help cool us down. Who fancies cooling down in the paddling pool? Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you, you're bright red. <coughs> Mummy, why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Oh, 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 uh, be careful. Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What? Job, everyone. Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Oh, yes, Mummy. But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho ho ho. I'm. So, sorry I'm late everyone, I was, my goodness, you've all made your masks and they're lovely, I'm so proud of you all. Thank you Madam Gazelle, we remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madam Gazelle have been here the whole time, ha ha ha. Madam Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness. Yes, okay, Susie. 
<laughs> Ooh, heaven. You can relax, Madame Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Yay! <laughs> we'll take a large bag of chocolate chip cookies, please, says Mummy Pig. Party food, cookies, present. Ah! We need to get a cake, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig spots the cake shop. Ah, birthday cake, we can get it here. Behind the counter is Miss Rabbit. Oh, hello, Mummy Pig, what can I get you? Hello again. We're after a nice big birthday cake, says Mummy Pig. Here you go. Thank you, replies Mummy Pig. Hmm, I just know I'm forgetting something, says Mummy Pig. Balloons and streamers, Mummy, says Pepper. You're right, we can't have a party without balloons. Ah, here we go. Miss Rabbit, do you work at all the shops here? asks Mummy Pig. Well, I like balloons. Who doesn't like balloons? replies Miss Rabbit. I love balloons. Come on, now we've got everything, we need to start preparing for the party, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig arrives at the shopping centre with George. Attention everyone, George is here for his party, announces Pepper. George's friends and his family get ready to surprise him. Surprise! Happy birthday, George! Everyone cheers, what a surprise! George opens his present and loves his new toy. Everyone enjoys a piece of cake and lots of party food. Even Miss Rabbit brings round some ice cream for everyone. I think George liked his surprise, don't you? Muddy puddles! Come on, George! Pepper and her friends take a bow and the audience applauds. I think they like the show, don't you? Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a treat in store today for Pepper and George. They're taking the family out for a trip to the cinema. Pepper and George are excited. But what film to watch? Daddy Pig checks the newspaper to see what films are showing. Ooh, the new Super Potato movie. What about this? asks Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love Super Potato. The family jump into the car and drive to the cinema. Pepper recognises the building. It's the theatre where her and George perform their play. The family gets some popcorn and drinks, head to the screen and take their seats. A lot of Pepper's friends are here for the movie too. The lights go down and the film begins. Super Potato to the rescue! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. The family agree this was a lovely surprise. Eat them all as part of your seven. And with a... The plane lands on the runway. Daddy Pig has another surprise for the family. Ta-da! He cries out. A camper van! The family are going on a camping holiday. They climb inside and off they go. On the road and off to adventure.
Daddy Pig spots a nice clearing that will be perfect for a campsite. He pulls the camper van over, into the clearing, and begins to set up camp. Mummy Pig starts the barbecue. Daddy Pig pulls out the benches, and Pepper and George get on their bicycles and go for a ride in the forest. Mummy Pig calls everyone for dinner and the family settle down to eat. As the day turns into night, Daddy Pig suggests that it's time for bed. But where are Pepper and George? They're bouncing up and down on the bed. But Daddy Pig tells them that's not where they're sleeping. He tells Pepper and George to follow him. Tent. Daddy Pig put up a tent for Pepper and George to sleep in. How exciting! The two wriggle into their tent and snuggle down into their sleeping bags for a well deserved. Pepper and George are watching TV. Mummy Pig asks if they've had their bath yet. Pepper and George look at each other. We will, replies Pepper. Sometime later, Pepper is playing in the playroom. And George is in the bedroom playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mummy Pig asks Pepper and George if they've had their bath yet. Not yet, Mummy, Pepper says. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig has been running the bath and getting it warm and bubbly for Pepper and George. Pepper, George, bath time, he calls. Daddy Pig says if they get themselves clean and in their pyjamas, he has a super special surprise for them both before they go to sleep. Pepper and George put on their pyjamas, brush their teeth, and meet Mummy and Daddy Pig in the attic study. Daddy Pig has put up his old telescope. He asks Pepper to look through, but Pepper says it's been raining. All they'll see is clouds. He laughs and tells Pepper and George that it stopped raining whilst they were in the bath. Pepper looks through the telescope and sees something whoosh across the sky. A shooting star! Daddy Pig was right, this is a super special surprise. The two begin to yawn. It's time for bed. Pepper and George climb into bed, dreaming of the stars. Good night, Pepper and George.